and welcome to a new video. We are doing the second part of my Christmas food taste testing series where I'm basically testing all of the Christmas food that is available this year, 2019, in your local supermarkets. Essentially, for the next 24 hours, I'm going to be eating Christmas food. I'm very excited by that. I think it would be really useful for you guys to know which Christmas food you should and should not buy from the supermarkets this year. And today's video, you're probably going to agree with me here, it's one of my fave supermarkets ever. <laughs> I am the queen of this supermarket. We are doing Aldi's Christmas food taste testing challenge. Now Aldi did actually have a huge range of Christmas and festive food this year and they also have quite a lot of festive food coming up in December and later in December so I might actually do a part two of this. We're going to be doing more traditional festive foods that you find in a British Christmas day. Plus look Looking at the vegan and vegetarian alternatives but now let's get comfy sit back get your shopping list ready get your festive drinks ready and just before we begin by the way if you are new my name is Sophie I make three videos on this channel every single week on Tuesdays Thursdays and Sundays all about living your best life on a budget and we focus mainly on food so if you do want to see the rest of this series and to know what Christmas food you should be buying then you need to subscribe down below and join the best community here on YouTube anyway I feel like that's enough rambling and I feel like we should just get into it so without further ado let's go have an Aldi Christmas day <laughs> okay as always we will do a really really quick little food haul so I can show you everything that we are testing out today there is quite a lot of food there is so much from Aldi that I really wanted to test out for you guys okay starting over here in our breakfast I picked up soft white toasting muffins I will tell you what I'm doing for breakfast in a sec these are actually only 42p so so that's super duper affordable. A large loose avocado from Aldi, this was 97p. Also picked up a bag of their sweet dried cranberries. This is actually going to be used for breakfast but also for our turkey dinner. Cranberries are £1.29. I'm going to make a Christmas wreath on some toasted muffins. It sounds weird but I thought it'd be like a really fun breakfast idea to try out. For kind of lunch and also just snacking on and taste testing I've gone for four different bags of like crisps. We have some snack right Christmas tree salted pretzels. For this large bag it was £1.29 and then I also picked up some of these. I don't think I could bring myself to eat these. Let me know in the comments down below if you're able to eat these. Lawrence might really like them though. These are pigs in blankets specially selected Aldi crisps. They're currently on offer for 75p. I also got the turkey and stuffing potato crisps which are also an offer for 75p. And I got some Christmas tree tortillas because these look so cool. These are also 75p. For like pre-dinner snacking I have purchased this little box from their party food because I really wanted to try some of their party food. This is 12 yakitori chicken skewers. I hope I've said that correctly. These were only £1.89 for this box. I really wanted to try out the Aldi Let's Party range. I picked up a bag of how exciting is this party vegan cocktail sausage rolls so there's 20 in here and i just used to absolutely love at christmas parties the little cocktail sausage rolls this will be our starter for today because i would really like to try this out this is from the aldi new vegan range again it's two root vegetable cranberry sauce pastry crowns okay for dinner we are going for a more traditional dinner so we have a turkey with all the trimmings basically it's going to be huge from their party range again but this will go with the dinner 12 pigs in blankets so basically Lawrence has 12 pigs in blankets to eat because I don't eat these this box was £1.69 we also have a bag of six large specially selected Aldi Yorkshire puddings 
It was £1.49 for this bag. I picked up a bag of their duck fat roast potatoes. Again, I would normally make my own roast potatoes. This bag, it was £1.69. Vegetables, I picked up the Nature's Pick Aldi Winter Roast Vegetables Tray. I always talk about these in my food hauls. Okay guys, the main event, I picked up a small turkey crown. I've never actually tried the turkey from Aldi. I'm so obsessed with Aldi. I have actually been let in on a little Aldi secret. And this isn't confirmed, don't quote me on this, but apparently the turkeys from Aldi and the turkeys from Waitrose all come from the same place. But Aldi offer them at cheaper prices. Secret for you, I don't know if it's true, but that's what I've heard through the grapevine. So this turkey was 10 99 apparently it feeds four to six, so we're going to have lots of leftover turkey today. They had these really nice specially selected stuffing mixes, which look so m &S. This is the cranberry orange and chestnut stuffing. This is such a Christmassy flavor. This was only actually 99p. After all this food, I'm not sure we're going to have space. We have gone for six almond mince tarts. These just sounded so posh and a little bit different, so I really wanted to try these. And then we're going to try out the marzipan stolen bites from Aldi. These are all in the special buys area, by the way, so I would have a look there as soon as you can. Let's get on and make our Christmas breakfast, and then we can move on to making everything else. I'm so excited for today's video. Let's go. muffins with a wreath made out of avocado and some dried sweet cranberries. This is all from Aldi and I thought it's like a really fun little breakfast idea. I'm starving so let's try it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> actually that is so nice. Never actually had avocado with toasted bagel but that is actually really good. I want to try some of these cranberries. They're good. They're like really a lot of flavour there. This is a good breakfast. The toasted buns are so nice. And also they're a lot cheaper. So this breakfast is a massive win. If you do try this out yourself, please let me know because I'm actually secretly really impressed with myself. Thumbs up. I'm going to give my breakfast a 9 out of 10. It's Christmas snack time. Woo! It. It's just before we start making Christmas dinner and we're getting peckish. So we thought we'd do like a taste test of all of the Christmas crisps. I feel like I want to start with the pretzels. You're going to start with pretzels? Yeah. Start with the pretzels. Everyone loves a Christmas tree pretzel, don't they? Oh, cool. They look, They're a good shape. Yeah, they do look good. Mm. Smells like good. Mm. They're really good. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Standard pretzel, but the hard way the pretzels get the right level of saltiness. These are okay. Mm. I don't know why, but pretzels do remind me of Christmas. I think because they're like the in the middle type food. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. For what they are. I mean, yeah. I don't know why I wouldn't give them a 10 out of 10. For salted pretzels. They're a 10 out of 10. They're a 10 out of 10. And they're About, cool yeah. little shapes. Yeah. Okay, next up we will try the Aldi specially selected, lightly salted. Lightly. Christmas tree tortillas. Mm. Why do you think they're red and green? Is that food coloring or is it because that is like a beetroot? Ooh. No artificial colors or right flavoring. And I can tell you that it's all natural coloring. So the green ones are, are colored with spinach powder mm. and the red ones are colored with beetroot powder. Mm. Yeah. And not lightly salted. They're not lightly salted, they're super salted. I like that. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. We're beating this with hummus, but mm. there's a bit of a hummus scandal at Aldi at the moment. I'm gonna give them a 9 out of 10 because they're really nice. Mm. I really like them, but minus a point because it says lightly salted. I think they're a, they're a good 9 out of 10. I mean, mm. I can't really think what would make them any better. Let's try the turkey stuff. Come on then. Ugh, that stinks. What the hell is that? You're being funny, right? That smells like, <laughs> like, like, like the cat tray. Doesn't it? <laughs> it like Doesn't tray. it? No. Let me smell one more time. <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually is... I opened it, it was like a puff of, of when you walk past the cat tray. That's not great. They're gluten free smell. though, that's a bonus. Oh, well, gluten free cat piss crisps. <laughs> They taste different to Catwee. Well, well, that's a relief. Mm. They taste nice. They taste like chicken crisps. Mm. Like roast chicken crisps. Mm. They're actually, the flavour is actually good. Yeah. The smell is weird. The smell is weird. I'm going to give them a seven and a half out of ten because that smell. These ones, mm. you've been looking forward to them because they are sausage and bacon flavoured potato crisps. So two of your most favourite things in the world. They're not. Yeah, they smell like smoky bacon. Mm. Crisps. Oh, they're, they're actually good. quite bacony. Yeah, they are. They're good. They are also gluten free, by the way, people. And these are also gluten free. These are not gluten free. But these three are all gluten free, which is good. Definitely recommend, to be fair, I recommend all four. I. I'm not a fan of bacon, so I'm not going to eat those, but they are actually all okay. What would you give that out of 10? Um, I know you. I'd give them a seven, because actually they're not too bad. That's that's a really good mark. Yeah. That's a really good mark. I, I would actually give them, I'm gonna give them an eight. I'm a tough marker on these things, but they're, they're, they're really good. Still Christmas party food. Christmas party food. Mm. Sausage rolls, mini party cocktail sausage rolls. Cool. So that is so. That's such a good idea. And then obviously the chicken skewers. It's an oriental uh, taste. I know that. Good. It's good. Mm. Really good. Mm. 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 Very nice. The pastry is so nice, isn't it? Very good pastry. Mm. They're really nice. Yeah, they are really good. good. I love them. I'm gonna eat that. Oh well, I know I am. I'll give it a score before I. Stuff my face. I'm gonna give them a nine. Yeah. The only reason they're not a ten is because they're not firm enough on the sausage. First of all, they get a few points extra because they're vegan, they're cocktail sausages. You can't go wrong with that. I think that's such a good idea to have. Yeah, nine out of ten for me. Yeah, I'd probably give it an eight. Just because I think there could be more filling. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but there doesn't seem to be very much about them. There's not... There's not very much flavour. Let's try another one. Right. Not enough flavour. There's not enough flavour. Like you'd expect either a little bit more sweetness mm. or a little bit more heat, something. I think they could be really nice mm. if you add them with soy sauce or if you add them with chilli. Right, what's, what's your score? A six. Well, no, five. Oh, okay, so five. Yeah. Mm. We're really looking forward to yeah. it. There's just not enough flavour in those, unfortunately. They did actually have other, have other types of skewers, which we might try if we do a part two of this. Because mm, they have they satay. Yeah, they had satay. Oh. I was going to get satay. We're still eating it, though. Yeah, still. No food goes to waste in our starter section of the dinner. Mm. And we have our mixed root vegetable and puff pastry. It looks actually so nice. Like how it was served is really, really nice. Also tasting our Aldi mold wine. I know. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. Yeah, not too sweet, not too nice. Yeah, it's just, just right. Right, should we try so, this? How are we going to eat this? I don't know. I absolutely love it. I really do. I think that's really nice. That is really nice. It's it's really festive, but it's not heavy. It's not. It's really quite light. Feels like a nice. You could yeah. eat that. You don't feel grim. It's a really great starter. Mm -hmm. You're not going to fill up on that. No. It really tastes like the different veggies, like the beetroot, the cranberries, and the cranberry sauce is so nice. Pumpkin seeds yeah, on top? Pumpkin yeah, seeds. the pumpkin seeds on top are really nice because they give it a little bit of texture. Really, really, really nice. That, that is, is good. Wait, we didn't even rate this. How much is this? Oh, the mulled wine, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. This, 
9 out of 10 for me. 100%, I think that's 9 out of 10. It's really strong, really, really, nice. really, really good. You're buying that again throughout yeah, the Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's Christmas dinner. Mm. Wow. Look at all of this. Out of everything, I'm most surprised by how the Yorkshire's look. Normally, I make my own. It's very easy to make your own Yorkshire pudding. These ones actually look very much homemade, just frozen. They look a million times better than any branded version. Gravy, we just used, obviously, the little gravy granules you can get from Aldi, but we just made that in the tray we cooked the turkey in, just so it has extra juices and sauces. The veg looks fab, just everything looks fab. So let's eat. Big in blanket. It's got a nice flavour. Mm. Yeah, it's got a nice flavour. Like, I think if I had any criticism, I think the, the bacon's really nice, but I think the sausages could be of a bit better quality. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. That's quite good, to be yeah. fair. Let's taste the potato, shall we? All right, let's go with the potatoes. Potatoes are always like my favourite part of the Christmas dinner. That's okay. That's not bad. That is not bad. Mm. I think that's better than Tesco one. But still, because <laughs> I always would, make my own roast potatoes mm -hmm. just because we know how to flavour it. Like, we like how they're done. Yeah. But for quick potatoes, and if you do buy them from the supermarket, I would recommend checking out the Aldi specially selected duck fat, duck fat ones. Mm. They are good. They are good. Right, what? should we try a bit of the turkey? Let's try a turkey. Now, the turkey wasn't done exactly how we would normally do it for Christmas Day. It's okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with it. There's a lot on there, by the way. Mm. That, that was crab. a small one. That was that a small That smallest crab. one we could find. We made the decision that we were going to cook it by the by the instructions on the back. Ordinarily, we use a the thermometer and it often works out that we cook it for about half an hour less than the recommended. So mate, this is a little bit drier than we usually have it. Yeah, it's a little bit drier than we have it. That's not necessarily a criticism of the turkey itself. That might yeah, just be the way. How we've done it. Was, but, but I'll give it an eight. It's fine. There's a lot on there for your money as well. I will. I, I, I agree with that. I think actually I, I would go with an 82. Yeah. Really, it was good quality. British, really free nice. range. I think it's good. I think it's good. And do you know what? There's so much leftovers. And you know what leftovers means? It means sandwiches, it means pie, it means pie. curry. And um, stuffing. Oh, I'm so excited to try the stuffing. Yeah, come on. Let's have some stuffing. Mm, that's nice. Wow, really orangey. Mm. Gosh, so orangey. Mmm. Oh, that is really nice. Really fresh tasting. Really fresh, like mm -hmm. kind of homemade. It's good. Re 99p that stuffing was. You know, there's a temptation to think, oh, it's Christmas, I'm gonna spend more. This is That's proof so, it's good enough. that you can treat yourself. On a budget. Shall we have, wait a minute, I'm just gonna have another pig in blanket first. Oh. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's, That's good. Isn't it? That's really good. I'm shocked because I had massive judgments about frozen Yorkshire's. I did. I'm giving them an eight. I'm giving them an eight. I just think this is great. This is mm. nine out of 10 easily, if not a 10 out of 10. And it doesn't taste as good as soaps, but for something that's just come out of the freezer, it's unbelievable. Saying that after this, genuinely, I would be happy and buy my whole Christmas dinner from Aldi this year. Oh my yeah. My entire Christmas dinner, I'd be happy at buying from Aldi. Yeah. And the start was really good. Stuff was amazing. Mm. So we're gonna finish this, our dinner, stuff mm. our faces, cause that's what you do on Christmas day. And then, yeah, we'll get cozy and have some dessert. Okay, we've had our dinner now. We are stuffed, mm -hmm. as always after Christmas dinner. And we are just sitting down on the sofa about to have our desserts. Marzipan Stollen. I, I loved how these things looked as well. They're very German. Yeah. Which is like very Christmassy in my eyes. I'm going to try Marzipan first. Yes. That's okay. Yeah. I think like I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it though. I'm gonna probably give it a seven out of ten because it's not very 
it's nice like the icing sugar's nice but that's not it's not so marzipan flavor yeah sense. probably you know what i'll probably go about the same seven yeah, yeah about seven they're okay yeah. they do taste christmasy right let's try the tarts they're like that's really the different that is the word mm. not in a bad it's like way a biscuit <laughs> very lemony then of course there's that that almond thing going on. Mm. If you're looking for mince pie, this is not a mince pie. Mm -mm. There's not very much mince meat in there. It is really tasty. If people were coming around, I would have those out. Because I know it's like kind of a bit different to offer them. It's like nice, nice, different, but nice. I think if you were having this as a dessert, it would be really nice if you kind of maybe put a little bit of double cream on top of it or served it with some creme fraiche because it is quite dry. Mm. I'm gonna give that an eight. What it is, it's really, it's actually really nice. I went in with the same expectations. I thought it was gonna be a mince pie. It's not. But what it is, I'm gonna really cop out and gonna go same as you. There's eight out of ten. It's yeah. really nice. I hope you are getting a lot of enjoyment out of this series. Absolutely. And I hope Honestly, I'm finding these videos are ridiculously eye-opening. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which supermarket you would like to see next or would you just like to see an Aldi part two? Obviously I'm going to be doing lots and lots of these videos in the build up to Christmas to help you pick the best food for your Christmas dinners and the build up to Christmas. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to upload every single Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, which means I'll see you again very, very soon. I love you guys very much. Mwah. Bye.